What's going on, everybody? Sending you love and light. Going into Fucus. Check the energy. Hope you all are doing well. We have intoxication, uninhibited, shameless. Spirit of the Elixir. There's a skull here, which tells me that this is somebody that you are no longer with. Okay, they're still drinking as they think of you, right? You guys, you went on and you've had a new beginning. You've gone through an awakening or a few awakenings, right? You're focused on uh, the spirit of the light. Okay, you're focused on your home. You're focused on your foundation as well uh, with the spirit of the dwelling place. Okay. Um, you guys are just trying to make sure that you have a good foundation, a good structure around you. Doing what you need to do business-wise or work-wise to make that happen. Some of you may be looking into buying a new home as well. Okay. Right? Good karma is coming your way. Scales are being balanced, right? So if anyone's done you wrong, they're getting karma for that at this time. You guys are getting the good karma, though. Okay, because of everything that you've had to endure up until this moment, which is great. So you guys are looking for ways to balance your money, balance your life, balance your body, right? You've been working on yourself. Balance your mind. Um, let's look into this a little deeper. Okay, with the spirit of the scales, right? What is this balance for, right? Man, um, the magician card. You guys are manifesting a new life for yourself, right? That is the good karma that's coming towards you. Um, I think that you guys have had to tweak how you've manifested things. You may have not been asking the appropriate way, or you may not have been seeing your manifestations coming to fruition, but you have tweaked it a bit, right? And you're learning uh, the law of attraction. You're learning how to get things that you need in your life. Um, and you're seeing that going on, right? You're seeing things happen or things coming to you. And yeah, it was a state of like awe for a minute for some of you. Like, oh, wow, I really did this. I really brought this in. Okay, two of wands energy is here. And this is you saying, you know what? I know what I want, right? I know that I'm going towards the things that I want to have. You know, the world is here. The world is is uh, at my feet. You know, somebody here may be doing a little bit of traveling as well, right? But you're doing what you need to do to secure your home situation, right? You're doing what you need to do to make sure that your house is good, you know, when it comes to the spirit of the dwelling. Um Somebody has a little bit of blockages when it comes to love. So you may feel like um, love is not coming to you appropriately. This is why Spirit just directed me to light some sage for us here. Right? You may feel like things have not been going the way that you would like for them to go. Okay? Um, Spirit wants you to know that this is all going to change. That blockages and everything of that nature are going to be removed from your life. Right? So they want you to keep planning things, keep seeing or visualizing how you want your life to go uh, so that you can manifest that. Don't think about things that happened badly. Don't, don't think about relationships or friendships, uh, situationships, fuckships. Don't think about any of that stuff that didn't go the way that you needed it to go because Spirit is calling for you to, to bring in what it actually is that you want right now. So just keep all of your thoughts really, really, really positive now. Okay? So when it comes to um, the energy of, you know, the spirit of the light, the awakening that you went through, uh, the new dawn, the new beginnings that are coming at you as well, right? You have the Ten of Wands and Spirit is saying no more burdens, boo. Okay, all those burdens that you've been going through, all those things that you've been doing for other people, all the things that you do, period. 
right? Now is a time of you focusing on your own energy, what it is that you need. It's be as specific as possible, my loves. Okay, it's a time to do this, right? You guys have come a long way. You've had a long journey of holding a lot of things up. Look, I was just joking to someone. Someone said, my arms look strong. I'm like, you're damn right, because of all the things I've had to hold up, you know what I mean? In my life, you know, and the burdens, the shoulders have been heavy, you know what I mean? And, and it is what it is, and there's nothing that we could have done. So if somebody did do us dirty at some point in time, of course that person would feel some sort of way about it because now you can see based on how things are going in their life they can see that we were good they can see that we brought value they can see that we brought love attention nurturing you know um prosperity abundance right we brought the good shit in and this is why they'll be sick you know they'll be feeling some sort of way like i can't believe you know that i did that you know, so when it comes to this person that's still getting drunk or thinking about you while they're getting drunk, okay, maybe somebody may be getting a drunk text or something of that nature or someone stopping off at your house soon, if you haven't already, okay, what is this energy spirit, right, page of cups, right, they want to offer, they want to say, hey, I love you, right, I want, I want to have something with you, but, you know, they're in their head, you know, they don't know how to maneuver, you know. Um, it could have been the summertime, the last time you saw this person. Or this, some, this person could be born in the summertime. Take it how it resonates. But <sighs> this person feels like they want to um, maybe contact you and just try and see if, if you'll bite. See if there's a possibility to having a good conversation, you know. They may invite you somewhere as well. They may say, hey, you know, I miss you. You know, I'm having a cookout. You know, I'm having a kickback. I'm doing whatever, you know, you want to come through. And it's only because they know that they fucked up. And they don't know that you're going to bite. They don't know that you're going to be interested in that shit. And, you know, and I really do feel that you're not going to be. Um, but just be mindful that this could be something that's happening to you, you know, pretty soon. You know, this person... It's going to be reaching out um, because they just want to test the waters and they just want to see if you're there. You know, they just want to see, you know, if they can tell you, hey, you know what? I still got a thing for you. You know, I've always thought about you. I never stopped. You know, um, this is like I said, while they're drinking or out with their friends, they're thinking about you. You know, they could be being approached by men or women, but they're thinking about you. Okay, it is what it is. The spirit is telling me to look at the bottom of the deck. We got the nine of pentacles. Okay, so you guys are single, you're sexy, you're free. Okay, single parents for some of you, you know, you're doing the damn thing. You know, you're, you're keeping it pushing on your end, you're doing what you need to do. Um, and I'm pretty proud of you, you know. And some of you may like it like that right now. You may be trying to stay in this light so that you can have the personal fulfillment that you deserve you know you may be just being content with your own energy at this time and may not be biting or giving anyone any play at this time and that's okay you know just take your time and that's what spirit is saying okay so this is what i have for you guys i'm sending you guys love and light if you guys uh, have uh, supported me in any way like i said thank you i i appreciate you more then you could ever know if anyone needs me. Um, my information's in the box below, okay? Um, for anything, even if you have a question, holla at me, okay? I'm sending you guys love and light. Y'all take care.